today, NVIDIA GPUs get a three times performance boost. AMD released new CPUs that destroy Intel. Consumer NVIDIA CPUs are in fact coming, and Ryzen 9000 is officially days away. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, NVIDIA released a new update that gives out some huge performance uplift to their GPUs, and this includes their RTX gaming cards. The announcement was made at this year's Microsoft Build event. The new performance comes with their latest R555 game-ready drivers, and it gives up to three times the AI performance in a number of LLMs, more specifically LLMs that use ORT and DirectML. Now, while AI performance may not sound all that exciting, especially on a gaming GPU, remember that NVIDIA has some pretty big plans for AI in games, like their Avatar Cloud Engine Ace, which showed off that demo where users could have real conversations with NPCs because they use generative AI. So performance updates here is always an important step to future games implementing this, and a 3x performance uplift is obviously a big deal, and really goes to show just how far along NVIDIA is moving things in this space. Next up for today, what started out as a rumor that later seemed to be confirmed with listings has officially been released, and we already have third-party benchmarks. Oh, and I'll have affiliate links to these down in the description below. They don't cost you anything more, and it helps the channel out. As you can see, AMD just released their AM5-based Epic 4004 CPUs, meaning their server CPUs have come to the consumer AM5 socket. Of course, like Intel's Xeon E-Series, these are designed for small to medium medium-sized businesses. As you'll see in this comparison, AMD's Epic 4004 series completely decimates Intel. Before I get to that though, I'll quickly go over the range of products. As you can see, their 4004 series are based on AMD's Zen 4 architecture and go from 4 to 16 cores with a price range of $149 to $699. Starting with the 4 core, we have the 4124P, which has a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost of 5.1 with a 6 65 watt CDP. Then there's the 6 core 4244P with a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost of 5.1 and 65 watt CDP. Next, there are two 8 core CPUs, the 4344P and 4364P, with the 64P model getting much higher clocks because it has a 105 watt CDP. Next are two 12 core parts, the 4464P and the 4484PX, with the PX model getting the higher clocks and higher TDP. Finally, are the 16 core parts, the 4564P and 4584PX, with the PX only getting a slightly lower base clock with 50 watts less TDP. Moving over to the socket, like I said, these support AM5 boards and even have heatsink compatibility with AM4 coolers. They support dual channel DDR5 up to 5200 MHz with ECC support and up to 192 GB memory support. Moving back to that comparison, we can see that AMD's Epic completely demolished Polishes Intel Xeon E2400 series with up to double the cores and even a lower cost per core. Sure, the 16 core part is $100 more, but it's double the cores. Really, it should be a no brainer. And like I said, we already have performance for these from 4Onyx. And as you can see, with the overall geometric mean, AMD completely wipes the floor with Intel. I mean, it's really not even a competition at this point. Are you always this pathetic? We're talking Intel's best CPU was more similar to AMD's 6 core part, and the new line goes all the way up to 16 cores. If Intel doesn't release something soon, they're bound to be in some big trouble here. Next up, in a recent video, I discussed a leak claiming that NVIDIA was teaming up with MediaTek to release consumer CPUs based on ARM. And we're talking Windows PCs, think Qualcomm's new Snapdragon X Elite chips. Now, these are build for AI PCs, but remember that AI PCs are really just regular PCs with an MPU built in. Think AMD's Ryzen 8040 series and 8000G parts. So they still have to do things like game and everything else consumers want. They just also offer some AI performance. Well, in an interview with Bloomberg, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang was asked this. Jensen, where is NVIDIA's place in the AI PC? I, I know you as gaming. That's, yeah. again, I grew up with the gaming side of NVIDIA. Yeah. Do you have a place in the AI PC market? Come back next year. 
there, there's yeah, exactly. And as you heard there, a gentleman with Dell said to come back next year and Jensen Huang agreed. Now, he did go on to talk about current products, but it sounds like NVIDIA is in fact working on CPUs for the upcoming AI PC market, which once again is really just PCs with AI chips built in. So these reports are looking more and more true now. And lastly for today, it's official. AMD's just days away from announcing their next-gen Ryzen CPUs. A little while back, it was announced that AMD would deliver the opening keynote address for this year's Computex, which is coming early next month, so it's literally days away. But at the time, no one actually gave any details. Well, AMD just updated their website where they list what the focus will be on for the keynote. And as you can see, it says, quote, Join us as Dr. Lisa Su delivers the Computex 2024 opening keynote and shares the latest on how AMD and our partners are pushing the envelope with our next generation of high performance PC, data center, and AI solutions. So yeah, that pretty much says it. Next generation high performance PCs. Meaning their Ryzen 9000 Strix Point APUs and potentially even their next gen Ryzen 9000 desktop CPUs based on Granite Ridge. Remember that these are set to be based on Zen 5 and Zen 5C. Then there's obviously the 3D vCache chips which I doubt those will be announced at the event. Either way, we should finally get an idea of what kind of performance we can expect from AMD's next-gen architecture. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen Ryzen 9000, or are you more excited about NVIDIA potentially releasing consumer CPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day!